couple accused of starving to death an adopted son in court this week facing murder and abuse charges. And that is Felicia Adams and Jesse Franks. They are also charged with criminal mistreatment of his two teenage brothers. Meanwhile, the state of Washington is about to be sued for the wrongful death of that teenager. Lisa Balick has been following this story. She joins us live now. Lisa. Yeah, one thing you have to keep in mind in all this is Carrion was 15 years old when he died. He weighed 61 pounds. That's why there were a lot of questions that led to what's going on in court and another lawsuit pending. 15-year-old Carrion Franks died in 2020, just minutes after he was brought to a hospital by his adoptive mother, Felicia Adams. A doctor there alerted Child Protective Services. Prosecutors maintain that Carrion and his brothers were restricted access to food and given physical punishment. In court this week, one of the surviving brothers reportedly testified how food was restricted, he was locked in a room at times, and hit with a paddle and electrical cord. But the parents' attorneys say Carrion had medical conditions that resulted in his death. While the murder trial is underway, the state of Washington is on notice now it will be facing a civil lawsuit over negligence. The attorney representing the surviving brothers and the estate of Carrion tells me the state's social worker, who went to the home to check on complaints the boys were being denied food, never talked to Carrion, even just days before he died. Had they would have had contact with Carrion, they, they would have seen that he was severely emaciated and only weighed around 60 to 65 pounds. And that should have obviously cued them to call an ambulance to get the boy immediate medical attention. That attorney says there were also complaints from outside family members going back three years before Carrion died that were dismissed. Carrion's caregivers were, were depriving him with food and water as a disciplinary measure. And the state caseworker determined that uh, it did not meet the definition of um, uh, neglect under our laws and closed out the, um, the file. I reached out to the Washington Department of Children, Youth and Families that oversees child welfare. They say they cannot comment on pending litigation. Now the parents' murder and abuse trial continues tomorrow in Clark County Superior Court. In South Portland, Lisa Valick, Coin 6 News. Lisa, thank you. A very familiar